Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new let's play of Homeworld 2 Remastered in continuation of the uh, Homeworld series of games this will be until 2022 hopefully the last Homeworld game so yeah let's begin In the first time, the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel, and the Outer Rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. Four thousand years passed before the second core was discovered on a desert planet. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake, but the exiles returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a vaguer warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, Construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Higara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. This is Tannis Control. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. Trajectory and alignment confirmed. Take it to 115 and initiate capture procedures. recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. Fleet Command, online. Mothership status report. 
Engineering online. Stand by to initiate engine sequence. Main engines online. Engine test complete. All standard drives are operational. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. Setting drives to idle. This is fleet intelligence. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before launching the mothership, we must conduct a series of trials to ensure all critical systems are operational. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. Begin retrieval of resource containers at this location. All right, and here we go. This first mission is basically just introduction and Ready. tutorials. Not exactly a tutorial. But Resources locked in. Because the game has a separate tutorial, which I haven't recorded. But yeah, not much going on here so far. We just need to get the resource containers and look around at this very gorgeous new mothership, which is called the Pride of Higara. I don't know why they still stuck with this cone shape other than the iconic first mothership, I guess, but yeah, I do have to admit it's, it's like, uh, pretty good looking, but from a tactical point of view, I don't know, yeah, resources are different now, resourcing systems fully operational, I don't know if I like Trial these successful. more, or the other ones, the classic ones. We will now test the mothership's production capabilities. Begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem. Fighter facility, here we go. Production underway. Basically now the resources are uh, just uh, a do-all unit. They harvest, they repair, they salvage. As opposed to the classic game where uh, you had the resources, which uh, gathered resources, and then repair corvettes and uh, support frigates that did the repair work, and salvage corvettes who did the salvaging. I guess it makes sense, I don't know, maybe not having a specialized unit for everything. Mothership fighter facility complete. Fighter facility subsystem complete. Engineering is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. All right, let's build production the underway. Squadron. The squadron costs almost as much as the facility. <laughs> necessary of information unless you want more I guess interceptor squadron complete stand by to begin combat trials perimeter station chimera will assist by providing target drones 
The drones are located here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. Reporting. Yep. Another different thing is now we get fighter squadrons, not uh, individual fighters anymore. Strike group, prepare for assault. Which, I guess it's an improvement. Because if you like lose four interceptors out of the five, you can still dock the fifth one and you get them all back. Instead of if it's destroyed, it's destroyed. decided on what target to attack. I wonder how big one of these things is in like real life. Or would be. Attack run complete. Okay. Holding pattern locked. Ducking. Attention Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. Signal indicates Vega Bomber Strike Force. This is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Chimera Base, this is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in, awaiting orders. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vega bombers. Okay. Strike group, prepare for assault. What's going for? Group one Talk designated. I guess they're good shapes. Tannis control Chimera station will not last long. They just hit it with a couple of bombs. I guess that's supposed to happen no matter what. So. But yeah, short introduction, I guess. Uh, they are playing around. Group one reports victory. No. Docking underway. Dock at the Docking with. Chimera station is offline. The Vega have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency launch underway. Police crews, stand by for emergency launch. Roger that, Tannis. Primary couplings released. The mothership has cleared Tannis. We are away. Multiple enemy reinforcements detected. Estimated time before contact, two minutes. Begin construction of attack bombers immediately. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. Production underway. Group one copies. Let's 
Standing by. Repairs. No, you can't repair it. Okay. Supporting friendly units. Vaguer are the new Titan under the new leader, I guess. I'm not sure if he's an emperor or not, like the last one. Bomber squadron complete. Yay. Okay. Copy. Go to Strike down group to battle heavy position. missile frigate. Strike group prepare for assault. Something's changed with the Vagar, the new Titan. They no longer use ion cannon frigates or any sort of ion technology for that matter. They use missiles now. Standing by. Right. You got Docking it. with mothership. Copy. Mothership's really taking a beating. Priority alert. The Vader are using hyperspace gates. If they are not destroyed, the enemy will deploy reinforcements through them. These gates must be destroyed. Way ahead of you, mister. Here they come. So basically what the hyperspace gate allows them to do is send anything through, even fighters, which normally couldn't hyperspace. But a quick run of under fire. the Moving bombers, in. they'll be dead. Interceptors in the meantime will take care of anything that came through. The mothership is receiving light fire. Gate destroyed. Destroy all the remaining hyperspace gates. Friendly under fire. Moving in. Weapons set to full power. Sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. Yep, we're getting out of here. The Faker have arrived. Stand a chance. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive. Alright, I guess that's it for us.